so and I just want to stress, I can't stress enough, these are photos I actually took myself. I have no permission to be showing these in public. <laughs> and um, probably could be sued. Great, first up is a pose I call the downward dude. <laughs> this is just kind of a basic man spreading pose. Yeah. If you want to achieve this, here, I'm, I'm not going to be able to sit down. I have too many feelings about this. Um, great, so if you want, this is, you know, these are legs spread. You want your hand near your crotch, and you want your mouth eating a fingernail. Uh, you want these legs spread. I think the key to this pose is just far enough to inconvenience someone, but not so far that you would touch this guy and become gay. Uh, uh, so you want to hit that sweet spot. He does feel very basic. This dude is the most basic. He's chugged pumpkin lattes, and now he's like, I need on the train. The thing that also upsets me, I feel like this is like, um, not just a photo, this is a story. Because, <laughs> because what is his plan for that chewed fingernail? He's either swallowing it or he's spitting it. But either way, I want to die. <laughs> There's no ending to this story that feels okay. <laughs> I feel like he adds it to his collection at home. Yeah, all right, let's, let's next up. Oh, God, put the, oh. Okay, great, this is called the corner office. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. need to, like, he's, he's on his way from one Panera to another. <laughs> <laughs> but what you need to achieve this, you see the key components here are a briefcase, some loose papers, and an outfit that says, I have a job, but it's not a great job. Does <laughs> <laughs> it look a little bit like Undercover Einstein? <laughs> Einstein, don't make a big deal out of it. <laughs> I also, what I like about these photos is they almost become like nature photos, like we've caught them in their natural habitat. Like clearly this guy is mostly seen in Uptown. Right? <laughs> There's like some clues to his natural habitat. All right, next up, what do we have next? Let's see, okay, great. This is world's grossest bookends. You see, there's just enough room to slide a copy of Catcher in the Rye right here. <laughs> I think that joke is too smart for me, but I'm still laughing. <laughs> the other thing I like about this photo is all of the shorts in it. There's more leg hair in this photo than at an Indigo Girls concert. <laughs> that was too rough for the room. <laughs> Sorry. You're bringing back memories for all of you. I'm sorry, is Amy Ray here? That was a deep cut. <laughs> You're gay and very I feel like this guy's on to you, dude. Yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, I've had some uncomfortable eye contact in these photos. All right, so next up, I don't know if you guys remember the, um, the, uh, the cult indie classic, Two Girls, One Cup. Right, this, this next one is called, yes. this is uh, Two Guys, Five Seats. <laughs> You can't see it, but right outside the frame, there are 30 pregnant women, and they're all on crutches. <laughs> so sad with the crutches. Oh, no. No. They all look great. Let's see, what do we got next? Next up? Oh, this is the Wall Street. <laughs> Call that because this guy is taking up 99% of the bench and leaving her with the 1%. <laughs> uh, uh, I also love this woman. I feel like she is all of us. <laughs> Yeah. I feel like it reminds me of that same look that woman had when Ann Coulter, how do you say her name? Oh yeah, yeah Ann Coulter. Ann oh. Coulter got kicked off the Delta flight. Yep. And, and then, then everybody's taking her picture. Yeah. <laughs> this bitch. Yeah. I feel like if you showed this picture and then this woman ran for mayor of New York, she would win. <laughs> Many a time. Why would you ever do this? I wouldn't do this if the train was empty. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding? I wouldn't, if the train was empty and the doors were glued shut, I wouldn't do this. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You are right. Uh, you are right. <laughs> look at this. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah. He's just staring you're, you're, off into yeah. the distance. You know why he's smiling? Why? He's thinking about a time he parked his car and took up two spaces. <laughs> <laughs> and so maybe you can see a thought bubble. <laughs> Yeah. All right, and what do we have next? Let's see, this might be the last one. This is called the Staten Island Spread. <laughs> this pose, 
uh, this pose tells everyone, my brain can't remember manners and the fairy schedule. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much. I also really like how he made his own v-neck. <laughs> Yeah, from the weight of his cool ass shades. Uh, this is a fun fact, I don't know if you know this. Right after I took this photo, this guy yelled at me a lot. Oh, and no. that's why I don't take these photos anymore. <laughs> it got very unsafe. What, what was he like? Hey, woman! I mean, yeah, and also like, what am I gonna do? Yeah, he was like, what are you taking my picture? I'm like, yeah, I did take his picture with no permission. So I'd be like, I'm not, I'm not the good guy in this story. <laughs> And I just didn't say anything, so like, I'm just gonna play this cool. And the more he yells, and I don't say anything, the more he'll look crazy. <laughs> so I, yeah, I just looked at my Kindle, and then he just kept yelling at me and yelling at me, and it just, and then it really, he just ended up looking crazy. <laughs> Secretly, I was the crazy man. <laughs> but then, but this is great. And then, and then two steps later, a woman gets on, an older woman with like one of those like, di like diabetes socks, and she got on, and he goes, oh, I'm sorry, let me move my knee so you could sit here. And then I kind of felt like, wait, this worked. <laughs> Way, but it resolved like some kind of weird seat Robin Hood. You fundamentally changed this man. <laughs>